What's going on guys? Today is going to be a little bit of a different video than what I normally do with stereo stuff. Today we're going to be working on this Briggs & Stratton mower. Well, it's a Murray mower with a Briggs & Stratton 450 series uh, engine on it. And today we're going to be taking off the carburetor and replacing it instead of cleaning it. Now this is going to save you a ton of trouble and instead, instead of trying to clean this plastic piece of junk. Um, you can get a replacement carburetor for under $20 with new hoses and new um, just about everything else. And that's the way to go. So here's what this mower does. Let me show you all. Alright, so as you can see, it starts and then dies right away. So we're going to fix that. Let's get into it. Okay, next order of business is we're going to have to take this cover off. This cover off here. And we can start by doing that right here. This is pretty easy. Okay, got the old air filter there. She don't look too good in there, but... Everything in here works, so I'm going to leave that be for now. And uh, if I have any issues down the road, then I'll replace that. I got a kit that comes with all new parts besides the carburetor, but I'm not going to mess with all that stuff if it all works. So after that, we're going to have to remove these bolts down here. We have one here, here, and I think there's one down there. And then that will give us access to the carburetor after we move both of these things. All right, be right back. All right, we're back. All right, so we're going to use a 930 seconds here to uh, so focus. To remove these two here, this one and this one here. Well, my handle's turning in the uh, thing. Hold on. All right, where were we? Here we go. Remove this bottom one. And then this one here. Now we're going to swap over to a 5 16th and remove these. Now hopefully no one else has been in here and uh, we're not going to end up with any surprises. And you got this one over here too. But from the looks of it, it doesn't seem that way. I traded uh, this mower for, I had three junk ones and $30 for this one. Um, kind of got ripped off. It did run fine when I first got it. It ran great. I actually mowed with it like two or three times. And then um, it started acting up like it has been. So here we are. And I looked online and I figured, well, since the uh, carburetor is only like, I think it was like $15 for everything. I'll leave a link in the description and stuff like that. But I was like, well, you know, if it's so cheap, I'll just may as well just replace the whole carburetor instead of messing with some carb cleaner. And, uh, you know, cleaning out the jets and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, here we are. I think this should be ready to come off. So, there you go. All right, and there we are. We have one junky carburetor. What's easy about these carbs is there's only one arm back here that you have to disconnect, and of course a couple of bolts, and then it swaps out pretty easily. So 
let's get to that. Oh, and don't forget, you got to take these cover or this cover off too. These three bolts, one there, one there, one there, with the uh, five sixteenths. So after you do that, then we'll get into this. Hold on. All right, we're back. Got that taken off. Got that set back. I believe this just pulls straight out. Now I'm doing this real time with y'all. I've never done this before. I've watched a couple of videos, and that's it. Um, so, you know, we're gonna be going at this together brand new so i believe what we need to do next is take this hose clamp off this fuel hose clamp it off and then just remove it this carb just pulls out i believe and then slide this arm out and i think that's it we just put the new one back in so one second all right i forgot to mention the gas tank literally just lifts straight up with these two little hinges right here you don't have to unclip unclamp anything or anything just pull straight up and it comes right out got the hose clamp on there everything's good to go and as i said i believe we just need to take this straight out so i'm gonna try to do this put you all here situate you all Okay, and as I said, I'm just going to tilt this up out of the way and pull it off. Okay, now then, to do all this back, we're just going to take this out. Make sure you put that in the new one if it doesn't, have, if it doesn't come with one. And uh, there we go. Now, a lot of these do come with new gaskets. Um, like, you take these two bolts out back here, and you can put a new gasket behind that, yada, yada. But I'm not going to do that. You can chew me out in the comments below if you want. That's fine. But I'm just going to replace the carburetor. And uh, I think that should be the only thing I have to do. So we're going to find out, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, because I can't do all this one-handed, I'm going to set you all up in this chair and then put this on there, and then I'll get back to you. So. All you got to do is slide this new arm back in here, I mean this arm back in here. And we need to make sure this snugs fit up against this tube right here. All right. So one second. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it's fit snug up in there, just like that. And uh, now all we got to do is put this fuel hose back on, mount the gas tank, and then put the bolts back in. Um, and oh, when you're putting this back on for the air filter housing here, there's a tube on the back of this. Make sure it goes into this tube. Okay, it's just like that. All right. Let me get back to you all after I get this put back together, and uh, we'll see if this thing starts. Hopefully it does. Okay, guys, everything's buttoned back up. All you have to do is button to button this back up is to put all these bolts back in here. You got one here, one down there, one there. Uh, yeah, those two, 
blah 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 and then these three back here um yeah just make sure all the hoses are on there and everything we'll put our air filter back on No leftover bolts or anything, so that should that's a good sign. Now remember this is my first time doing this. I assume it's your first time, so we're in this together here. We're doing this together. Um hopefully the bowl's filled up by now. Um let's see. Got some gas in her. And uh, I think that's it think we should be good to go so I am going to put you guys up and stay in here and uh, we're gonna be mowing all this bits of grass here alongside this alley so remember before this thing wouldn't even run at all it would start and then die automatically so um, my hope is after doing this, it'll start and then run and be good to go. What happened last time, it was run, and I would get onto bumpy, uh, in a bumpy part of the yard or something like that, and it would just die. And now it won't even do it at all, so I imagine it knocked some gunk up. So, um, whatever. Hopefully, we're good to go now. Um, I'll update after a few months, too. Make sure, you know, let you guys know how it goes. But let me get you set up here and we're gonna do this together and see if it works Here's the part number. Um, well, that's what came on the box anyway, but as I said, I'll leave a link and all that stuff in the description, and I'll try to put one in the video too. Um, but, all right, let me get this tarp out of the way, and uh, my trash, there, as you see it fly off, and we'll see if this thing starts. Sure y'all can see where am I at here? Make sure you're in focus. Okay, I find it. There goes nothing.
call that a win. I don't know about you guys, but let's see if it starts back up without priming it or anything. Yeah, good mowing season, boys.